Oh guys, back to my video, and today, uh, this is like the second part of the series that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be like doing like a series preview for like each, uh, each series of the NBA playoffs so far. And right now we are on the uh, Western Conference semifinals and the Eastern Conference, also the second round. And the matchup is a lot that I'm going to be doing in this video is the Los Angeles Clippers versus the Utah Jazz. So I'm going to talk about... Uh, I'm gonna talk about each team. We'll start off with the Clippers. The Clippers having a really, they've had having a pretty good se se series and season. Uh, they just beat the Dallas Mavericks in the seven game series after coming back thanks to Kawhi Leonard being really clutch. And uh, uh, moving on with that, uh, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George have been playing pretty well. Paul George has been choking a little bit, but. Uh, to go about their players, I think no, it's gonna be hard for uh, the Utah Jazz, in my opinion, to stop Kawhi Leonard. And if Paul George gets hot, it will also be hard to stop Paul George. But I feel like Paul George is uh, kind of getting in that playoff p, uh, kind of going back to playoff p days. And uh, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, if the Clippers do want to beat the Utah Jazz, they have to be clutch in this series, and I feel like they need to play their absolute best, because this is not going to be an easy series to win for the Los Angeles Clippers, and uh, their players need to step up too, like Marcus Morris, Reggie Jackson, Nicholas Batum, Luke Kennard. Uh, the first game, the Jazz did win. It was pretty close. I like how the Clippers did get a big lead, but they did lose it, but the Clippers uh, did come close, but they did get clamped up by Utah Jazz at the very uh, last possession. So uh, that is kind of a, 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 a issue going on there. You don't want to get like in a, in a time zone where you can't score any points. But uh, I feel like their players have been stepping up, like Marcus Morris and Luke Kennard did in the first game. Uh, their defense, though, when it comes to stopping Donovan Mitchell, it's, I don't think they're going to have find an answer for to stopping Donald Mitchell. And for getting to, for stopping Rudy Gobert in the paint, that's going to be hard, too. I would pick Rudy Gobert over Zubak. And uh, moving on to the Jazz, Donald Mitchell needs to, he, he needs to go on fire. Uh, he needs to play like he's an MVP. And he needs to like facil facilitate this team, especially because Mike Collins is probably going to be injured for a few games. And uh, he needs to play decent defense like he has been. He needs to be clutch. He needs to be unstoppable. Like, he played really good in the first game. He had 45 points, which is a really amazing accomplishment for him. And, uh, yeah, for Rudy Gobert, he needs to play really good defense like he did in the game one. Rudy Gobert, arguably, uh, I mean, Rudy Gobert, congrats to him. Uh, he won a star defensive player of the year. But uh, he had the game-winning play on the with the block on Marcus Morris. I was literally watching the game, and I got so happy when he blocked it. It was crazy because I am a Jazz fan. If you guys already know that, most of you probably do, though. But uh, the, it was a bit really good for Nico Bear. He needs to keep playing really good defense. He needs to toughen up when he's on offense and really, like, use his height as an advantage and dunk the ball and, like, get a lot of rebounds. And he's a really big part of the Utah Jazz team on defense. I do think he he won't he will be able to stop the centers and the, and the big people. But I feel like for him, it's gonna be hard to stop Kawhi Leonard and Paul George if he ever has to face up on them. And that is a problem that you look at the Utah Jazz like who's gonna be able to stop Kawhi Leonard. But at the same time, for the Clippers, who's going to be able to stop Donovan Mitchell? So it's really one of those series that's going to go back and forth. And really, whoever scores more points at the end of it, like whoever like gets a better run and like gets like more pumped up and, and is going to win this series. And uh, as you can see, the Jazz are up 1-0 to because they didn't win the first game. The second game is actually later tonight as I'm recording this video. And also, make sure you guys check out the first video I made of the series, which is the Denver Nuggets versus the Phoenix Suns. You can see my preview of that series. And uh, you can see what my predictions of that series as well. But uh, keep moving on. These teams both had really good, great years. But uh, I feel like one team is just going to inch it out by a little bit at the end. And that, that is uh, the team that I have winning is the Utah Jazz. 
against the Clippers and the Jazz. I have the Jazz winning in seven games, so they're going to win four to three. And uh, those are my predictions for the Utah Jazz and the Los Angeles Clippers Western Conference semifinals uh, series. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and make sure that you uh, check out the first video of the series. And yeah, bye.